anything that is very large and not built in WordPress, something that is custom made, even HTML is still complicated because there's a lot of stuff you need to do. And whenever you need to change something, you have to manually go and change everything. Yeah, you can have a very nice system that edits everything and all your headers and stuff, but still it's not ideal. So, and then multiply that by having a website that is written in Portuguese, English, and Russian. It's a headache. You need a whole team for that. And this is where these, I think this is only a thing for Fortune 500 companies, unless you're like Ikea and you really need to have a website in each country or, or Walmart, you have China, you have US branches and McDonald's. Yeah, they need that, but these are huge companies. They can handle like a separate website for each thing with a totally different design. In my opinion, that would be ideal because different countries have different, you know, perspectives. Some, for example, if you go to a country where they write from left to right, and then you have the same country right to left, you should change the de design too, because uh, me as somebody who's bilingual in two languages that go left to right and right to left, I am used to looking to the other side of the screen.